I have to put the wire somewhere around. The mouse is actually plugged into the G19 keyboard, but I will put it around and plug it directly into the computer because it's no need to have it like this. So far, there's only this, only this button. Don't know what they do actually, it turns red. Uh, maybe with the software I can enable some light here. If it doesn't have it, it's okay, it doesn't matter. But it feels good. I will install the software and let's see. I'll install the software now. Okay, so there is all this stuff. Gaming mice. And I think it's the one I have, it's not with the... It's not with the... Okay, mice. G502X lightning speed. This is the one I have. So it's without RGB, that's why it was a bit cheaper. And that's okay. Downloads. G502X gaming software. Now I'm not sure if it's a software I already have for the G19. I'll try to download it. Okay. Okay, installing it. I'm using the mouse to do all this. Install. I already have the Logitech gaming software. That's the Logitech gaming software that is made for the G19 keyboard. But it looks like I need a separate software for the mouse. It's gonna be not great, but okay. Doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, no thanks. Total gear control, profile activities. Okay, let's learn. The, you can set profiles for the mouse. Assignment keys. Maybe this is it's just a, a create account. No. Okay, I'll skip it. Stay up to date. No. I already see the notification. Logitech G Hub device DPI set to 1600. It's in the corner here. And it found the mouse. It has the onboard memory mode. Store settings directly on the device so it can be used without the uh, G Hub. Okay, that's nice. So you have the option to enable the the onboard memory to use the settings directly. So slot one, I could say onboard memory mode. And okay, I don't know how to use this one. Okay, let's switch to without. Without. It's really loud. Close. Confirm, I don't want this. So let's configure the mouse or something about the mouse. I think the the DPI, I think the DPI setting is okay. Could try to, maybe this one, 2400. I think maybe 2000 if I could, but I don't see an option for 2400. Ultra fast scroll. Adjustable or removable DPI shift button, that's the side button. And you have some onboard profile slot one precision, slot two dragon fire, slot three destroyer tank. Okay, <laughs> let's party. Oh, I like this interface. So I could set this. This is the 
2400 and if I switch now it's set to it's telling me on the corner it's telling me in the corner here when it changes so DPI is set to 3.2k now and now it's 2.4k um, if it's 800 800 is very slow so I think I like to 2400 you don't really need too much don't really need a lot of DPI. DPI is the sensitivity of the mouse. The more you move the mouse, if you have the low DPI, if you move the mouse, you have to make it move a, a lot with low DPI. But with the high DPI, you have to move just a little bit to cover the screen. So now I move just the same amount, the same amount I move it now. And now the same amount seems more or less the same, but if I have it at 800, the same amount is barely moving, so 2.4k. The polling rate, report rate, the, the report rate per second of the mouse is by default set to 1000, it's the maximum, so you want to have that maximum as high as possible. And I don't know what assignments i can yeah i can assign here custom functions you could really have here lots of functions the dpi up dpi down so if i press okay so this one yeah this works so i press this button i press this button dpi went up that's why it changes the colors because it's changing the colors for the DPI. So, okay, that's nice to be able to change DPI really fast like that. It's pretty, pretty convenient. You can do DPI, scroll left, scroll down. So, I think I went back with this one. Scroll down, scroll down is uh, I could even there is even the option you can move the wheel left and right and press on the wheel also I've got to show those I never use those okay Okay, I think maybe 3000, 3k DPA, 3200, maybe it's actually also nice. So scroll, scroll up, scroll down. I don't like those notifications, maybe I turn them off. Okay, I turn it off because it's a bit annoying. There is middle click on the mouse, secondary click, the right click, scroll right, onboard profile cycle. So with this button, with this, with the back button from here, I could actually cycle the profiles. If there are any stored profiles on the mouse, I didn't store anything, but that's a nice option to have. And let's see the second view, DPI shift. Does the DPI shift forward and back? Okay. You can have lots of options for the windows, shortcuts, navigations. I hope you can have actually a, a custom. So you can set some command to do a custom. You can assign, yeah, you can assign to the button like this. For example, I could use this one, for example, new tab. I could use that one and let's see. I mean, if this is what you want. It's a nice way, way not nice way to customize it. And I could use default or even disable it from the software. So actually, even if you have the button there, you press it, nothing happens. Or use default for DPI shift. Okay. This could be a really useful button to have there. So you have commands, Q, 
keys, actions, macros. You can create a new macro. This is really nice, actually. Such a macro. Test. So you can do re no repeat, repeat while holding. Okay, so what can this do? Macro type. Record keys. Oh, wow. So you can record a keystroke sequence sequence and you can repeat it while the mouse is work it's you press it text or emojis or icons so test space test space test space okay stop recording save it and now let's open a new folder new text new text document So I have this text document and I'll press this mouse button. I oh, know I have to, which one is it? So I have the macro here created, but I need to assign it to the key and I will assign it there to the DPI shift button. And this is going to be really nice if it works. Look how it's typing by itself. I just hold the mouse button like that and it keeps testing, test, 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 test. Just like that. I should add extra spaces. But this could be very powerful to automate some tasks that can be repetitive. So this is pretty nice actually. It's not bad to have a lot of buttons eventually. And the system can change audio settings device settings the mouse yeah this is really really powerful options here and the onboard memory i don't know if i really need to use that 